Hello, this is Jonathan Wright, Dr. Wright from the Tama Clinic in Tukwila, Washington. Thank you for watching, thank you for listening, and today's topic is what to do about all that bothersome earwax. Well, I know some of you dig it out or use the little things, they, the things they sell at the drugstores. I know some of you use those things called ear candles. Getting wax in the ears is natural, isn't it? Well, yeah, but it shouldn't get to the point where it clogs up the ears, gets all dried out, and needs cleaning out. What's going on? What's going on is you don't have enough omega-3 fatty acids in your system. Sometimes it's because they're not in your diet enough, and sometimes it's because they're not being absorbed, even if they are in the diet. So when I'm working with somebody here at the clinic and we're doing a physical exam and I look in the ears and, oh, look at all that earwax, or if the person tells me they got a problem with it, I'll ask them, are you eating very much fish? Sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. But if they still have that earwax problem, I'll say, well, here's something you can try. Get yourself some fish oil. Cod liver oil is fine. Salmon oil is fine contains the omega-3 fatty acids. And take a tablespoon of that stuff twice a day. Huh? Isn't that an awful lot of fish oil? Yeah. But this doesn't go on forever. Oh, well, how long does it go on for? Well, here's what you do. You get your ears cleaned out probably for the last time. And once it's cleaned out, stay on those two tablespoons of fish oil and twice a day until you're confident that the earwax isn't coming back. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, and every time we take a tablespoon of fish oil, during the same day, we should take either four or 500 units of vitamin E as mixed to coffrols. There's a good reason for that. It's called preventing lipid peroxidation over the long term, but that's another very long topic that I won't go into here. And just to say, if you're gonna take oil for a while, fish oil, take some vitamin E. All right, so let's say you take a tablespoon twice a day after you last cleaned out your ears and it's been a month and you haven't noticed much earwax accumulation and you usually do. Okay, cut it down to a tablespoon a day. See, what we're doing is trying to make sure it works and then finding out how much works for you, which is kind of important. So you keep on the tablespoon a day and if that wax still doesn't come back after another month or so, doesn't come back like it did before, then go to half a tablespoon. Well, you keep cutting it back, and sooner or later, you'll find out, well, here's where, where my, wax, my ears want to make too much wax. Mm -hmm. So you go back up again. You can determine on your own by adjusting the dose of fish oil. And there are other ways to adjust it, too. That's just the way that's uh, going to tell you nearly every time, because two tablespoons is not an overdose, but it is a lot. Oh, by the way. All the natural food stores, the Toma Clinic Dispensary, and the compounding pharmacies now have a lot of flavored fish oil, too, so it doesn't taste quite so fishy. Anyway, now what if you do this and you're one of the rare people where, oh, I'm sorry, but I still got all that earwax. Then I got to bet you have dry skin because this same thing works on dry skin, except in people who have hidden gluten sensitivity, which means that the gluten doesn't give you gut symptoms, but it does block the absorption of, among other things, essential fatty acids, along with many of the other fat-soluble vitamins. So if you try this on earwax or dry skin, and it doesn't work, I check with a doctor skilled and knowledgeable in natural medicine and get myself checked for hidden gluten sensitivity. Or if you want to, you can go online and go to all the W's and E-N-T-E-R-O, Entero, E-N-T-E-R-O, L-A-B, lab, and read about their test for hidden gluten sensitivity. And you can send that test into the lab yourself and they'll send you back the results. But back to the main topic, which is earwax. And as you just heard, dry skin. If we use enough fish oil, we don't have those anymore. Make sure to take vitamin E with your fish oil. It doesn't have to be in the same mouthful, but in the same day. And 400 or 500 units of the vitamin E for every tablespoon of fish oil. Make sure to do that, please. And unless you have hidden gluten sensitivity, your earwax 
and your dry skin will become a thing of the past. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening.